It's the balls. No, Get Mickey's here. coming. Not Mickey. Oh, God. Oh, it's just art. Hey, everybody. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I know, I can't believe they're getting away with this, too. I know the Disney lawyers were back there like, okay, you can't do this, don't say this, don't say this. Like, the fact that they're letting them get away with this much is impressive. So, you know how there's this meme that Disney owns, like, every major entertainment property in the world? Well, it's kind of true. Because in case you didn't know, Disney also owns The Simpsons. Now, this is a new development. They didn't own The Simpsons until a couple of years ago when they bought Fox. But now that they own it, both The Simpsons and Disney have been melding their brands together a lot on Disney Plus and making various shorts together. And I'm just really curious as to how in the world that works. Because for decades, The Simpsons has been making fun of Disney constantly on their show. In fact, they even made fun of them in their movie. So, Mom, what's our plan? What are you doing up there? Looking through people's luggage. I'm the mascot of an evil corporation. <laughs> so I found four shorts on Disney Plus where The Simpsons and Disney and their various brands have collaborated together just because I wanted to see what the heck these two brands could come up with together because they just seemed like totally opposite brands to me. And I also want to see if The Simpsons has any more hot takes on Disney. Are they even allowed to make fun of Disney anymore? I'm really curious. But before we get into the video, if you can hit the like button on this video, that be great for the channel. Also subscribe, I post multiple videos a week, so make sure you don't miss out on any of that. Now, let's get on to the video. Up next. I love how there's already a bunch of Disney Easter eggs with Maui from Moana here. Oh, and there's Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. Oh boy. Let's see how many famous characters we can spot here. I'm telling you, I'm a big star in- Wait, wait, wait. We gotta see who was on that list. The guest list includes Jeff Goldblum, Dopey, Ant-Man, Darth Sidious, Pinocchio, Aaron Burr? Oh, because Disney owns Hamilton now. Um, Jabba the Hutt, Tramp Plus One, King George the Third, Bluey, Luca, Sideshow Bob, Loki, Thanos, Lightning McQueen needs parking pass, and Princess and the Frog. Okay, this is a pretty stacked party, I should say. You, I'm a big star on Disney Plus. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't seem to Lipsent. be one of us. Yeah, now we have all the brands and streaming services that Disney owns. I love the subtle shade that The Simpsons is throwing at Disney here, that they kind of own everything. Welcome, Mr. Goofy. Do you have a plus one? Nope. I can't even add plus one. Wait, does Tinkerbell have a boyfriend now? Look, who's this? I don't recognize this character. Does anyone know? Oh, even Tink has a friend. I'm with him. Colors, colors. Wait, 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 what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're only 42 seconds into this thing and there's a lot going on. So did Goofy get a little like bashful? Like, oh, Mr. Simpson. Like, oh, okay. So is Goofy, you know. Hmm? I love how they just got all these characters here. Got freaking Doctor Strange playing pool using his little like hand thing. Oh no. Now we've got the brooms from the, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, man. What? Not Buzz Lightyear. Oh, facing off against the Mandalorian. This is a wild, wild party, man. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is this Sebastian drinking Buzz Cola? At least this Sebastian looks miles better than the live action Sebastian. He's choking. Someone Heimlich him. I'm not choking. Leave me alone. It does sound like he's choking when Donald Duck talks. That's very true. Some days you just don't feel like being goofy, you know? <laughs> I don't know if you're a cow or a dog, but you're definitely a downer. Of course you have Homer being like his usual helpful self. Homer, can't help but love you, but you're an idiot. This party stinks. Sorry, Grumpy. I'm happy. That's how bad this party is. That's happy? Now wait just a minute. I came here to collect my dad. Oh, you got the guy from Lilo and Stitch. Man, they got everybody. You need cheering up. And nothing works better than a good old Disney song. Streaming's a 
dream for Disney. <sighs> Sir! Oh, no, come on. In one place. It's beamed all over the planet. They got everybody. They got Mulan here. They got Baymax. And into outer space. What does it say? Disney Plus not available on Jupiter until 2025. If your kids there are you go, driving go. you crazy, entrust them to the TV. Are they saying you should use Disney Plus as a babysitting service? Because I bet a lot of parents do. Very true. Low fee not guaranteed for the future. Hey, this came out a year ago and there's already been like, I think at least two price hikes since then. So The Simpsons predicted yet another thing that Disney Plus prices went up because they did. Disney Plus for kids that are older, but best of all for Disney stockholders. Again, there's so much subtle shade here. I love it. Long right as we have your credit card no Wait, what's this from? Is this one of those elephants from Winnie the Pooh? Who is this? Can anyone tell me? I don't really recognize this one. Not Loki having Thor's credit card. No. We'll automatically renew. All of this just to promote their streaming service. You know what? The synergy is synergizing. I'm feeling it. <laughs> It's the balls. No, Gee, Mickey's yeah. hang. Not Mickey. Oh, God. Oh, it's just hard. Hey, everybody. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I know. I can't believe they're getting away with this, too. I know the Disney lorries were back there like, okay, you can't do this. Don't say this. Don't say this. Like, the fact that they're letting them get away with this much is impressive. Party's over. Get back to work. That's one tough mouse. Come on, Goofy. Get over here, now! I like how the shadow just looks like Mickey. In fact, I looked it up. Apparently the only character that Simpsons wasn't allowed to directly make fun of was Mickey Mouse. So I guess this was their workaround is to have Bart as Mickey, but then in the shadow you can still tell it's clearly Mickey. Oh, I wish I was your sidekick. <laughs> oh my god, this is so dramatic. This is cute. That was really cute. I like these art though. Oh my god, not Santa's little helper. No, she's trying to kill him. Run away, run away. This is it, Lise. They're gonna make you an actual Disney princess. Oh, we already got some more Easter eggs. So we got Elsa, we got Cinderella, Princess Tiana. I want to be a princess. You've got the job. First steps a killer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was Loki? I did not expect Loki to show up in this, to be honest. Wait, what's going on? Is I, Loki, making another contractually obligated appearance. And it's actually his voice. You can tell this is Tom Hiddleston. Wow, okay. Though my powers are no match for the accountants at Disney Business Affairs. Oh, we got some meta humor here. You guys know how much I love me some meta humor. Though so I guess in this case, it's okay, because literally the entire point of this is to make fun of Disney, so I'm all right with it here. Who's that? Snow White? Close enough. I poisoned her. Join, Join the club! The oh, they've got Join. all the villains! Uh, I'm not a villain. Oh, come on. Disney gets rid of princesses as soon as they're 20. No, that's not true. Isn't technically Elsa 21? That's one princess that's older. <laughs> I was 19 and 3 quarters! Union! Oh, oh, okay. This kind of almost reminds me of Shrek in the way that they're making fun of all the classic Disney tropes. I'm into this, actually. And we villains get to sing diabolical tunes, which become drag show favorites. Who wants to be a pretty girl in a fancy dress? Oh, is this like, why be a hero when you could be a villain song? I'm here for this. You don't get an invitation, so create a consecration! <laughs> Fire to the fun house? I mean, they are villains, I get it, but like, dang. I always felt like Cruella was one of the most evilest of the, the villains. I mean, she literally skins puppies. How do you do that? Don't you villains always die? <laughs> yes. The beats living happily ever after with some boring guy. <laughs> Yeah, the princess over time have been pretty generic, I will say. Although I do like Prince Eric from Little Mermaid. And of course, I love Fitzherbert from Tangled. Those are the only two I feel like really broke the mold as far as princes go. But yeah, they're usually pretty bland and boring. We are predictable, dull yeah. as linen. We <laughs> seem to kiss unconscious women. Same white teeth, same fluffy hair. 
big strapping chest, but nothing up there. But nothing up there? Oh, man. Simpsons is really going in on Disney. I'm loving this. Super Again, Disney is like paying them to do this because the whole point of this is Disney Simpsons synergy. But like, they're allowing this, which is interesting. We'll screw up the world's affairs. You stay home and crank out air. Oh, man. Now they're going into like gender roles. I mean, are the princesses in Disney movies always just popping out airs? The only one that's really had descendants is Ariel. Have any of the other princesses had kids? Am I forgetting one? Life with me will not be easy. You're better off with Doc and Sneezy. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, they actually let them use Mickey this time. Why wouldn't they let them use Mickey for the last one? What the heck? And don't say narcissistic! Oh, sorry, Mickey. Sorry, Mickey. Don't hurt sorry, us. Mickey. Won't happen again. Have you lost weight? <laughs> That was weird. All the princess just formed themselves into a Mickey face at the side of Mickey, telling them what to do. Are they like, yeah, Mickey has that much control over us? What is this? That was a weird one. Not even gonna lie. I like these images yet again. These are really colorful and pretty. I like how this whole episode was just Lisa thinking she wanted to be a princess, but all the villains are like, no, it's much more fun to be a villain. Why would you want to hang out with some boring old guy all day? And in the end, she's like, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Again, it's just like the amount of like passive aggressive shade The Simpsons is actually throwing at Disney is really funny to me. Now let's move on to the next one, which is another specifically Marvel Simpsons crossover. So we should see a lot of Marvel characters in this one. The good, the Bart, and the Loki. Oh, okay. Oh, you already got Valhalla from uh, Thor Ragnarok. Okay, I like it. Loki, once again for crimes against Asgard, you are banished to Springfield. No! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Poor Loki's gonna have to live in Springfield. He's not gonna like it. Oh, hey man, can I help you? What would you know of a distant, abusive father? Oh, have I got the family for you. <laughs> oh, the boy says you're magic. Can you turn one pork chop into two? I worship you, Chris. <laughs> of course, Homer would worship him because he could turn one chopstick into two. Although that is a pretty useful skill. Like, if I could have that power, that'd be incredible. The last thing this world needs is more pork chops. Of course, Lisa's got to be all misresponsible here. No, Bart, I'm your sister. What the heck? She at Ragnarok now? Eh, <laughs> there's Melnor. Whosoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Well, there's no way I'm worthy. I I'll you should try it. That. Try it. Oh, she's Lady Thor now. Oh, the Simpsons did Lady Thor before Marvel did. Okay. Goodbye, self-esteem issues! Yeah. Riding that gay rainbow train. I brought the Springfield Avengers with me. <laughs> I love this. I love that they got the guy that's always drunk that's gonna be Iron Man. Perfect. Oh, this is like the Wish version of the Avengers. I love this. Oh, they've even got Scarlet Witch. I love it. And Agatha. Oh, this must have been post WandaVision. I ruined they've got all the, the heroes. They got Falcon. They've got Captain Marvel, Ant Man, Quicksilver. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing these Easter eggs. New Ooh, way. Black Widow. All right, they're no help. But you're through here, Loki. No, no, you're making a big mistake. I'm really. I'm the robot! <laughs> <gasps> Oh no, she just yeeted her brother out into space. Well, we love you so much, boy. Mm. Yes, father. Is he not gonna like say something? Carl, could you turn Flanders into a pork chop? I'll do the rest. Yes, father. Uh, uh, Finally, a functional family. They're just gonna accept Loki like that? <laughs> Poor freaking Bart. <laughs> like... Bart got a raw deal in this episode. I'm once again really loving the artwork here. Like, we've got the Guardians now. I love Homer as Drax. That's pretty cool. We've got Groot. Marge as Gamora is actually pretty hot. Yeah, this definitely is post-WandaVision, which is, you know, this is a direct ripoff from WandaVision. The best Marvel show. You're not nice! Oh, there's a post credit scene! <gasps> Privacy, please. Hey, I love that they gave it a post credit scene because Marvel is known for them. I like that. It's the details. It's the details. 
So now we're on our fourth and final Simpsons crossover, and this one is making fun of Star Wars, which should be interesting because Lord knows is there a lot to make fun of Star Wars at this point. That franchise has definitely seen better days. So let's see what they have to say. Jabba Hutt's Jedi School. Oh, so she's going to Jedi School. Skywalker, Sky Toddlers. Oh, you got all these little baby aliens. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Slice bread with a lightsaber. I think there's better uses for a lightsaber, probably. Oh. oh. This is that, uh, the dude from the prequels, right? I don't know Star Wars that well, don't judge me, but I know Tatooine is from the movies, too. Right. Oh no, she's running into BB-8, that's so cute. They're the same height. Is BB-8 like, oh, we can go get your binky? Are they trying to break out and do this Tice thing? There's a lot of BB-8s. Oh, Ooh, what, what, is that, is that the real BB-8? Yes, it must, because it has the bow. Why are they beating them up? What the heck is going on? But he's got the binky now. Okay. And there's an evil baby? Who's the evil baby? Oh. That's the guy from the first one. Darth Maul, I think. <laughs> Just turn it into a lightsaber. What is this? Cloud City nap room. This is pretty inventive. I like this, like, Star Wars themed daycare. It's pretty cool. Maggie's got moves. You know, eating peanuts, blue milk, or other students. Okay, got some cannibals there. <laughs> That's definitely making fun of Star Wars at how many times their Death Stars blow up. For sure. <gasps> get up, Maggie, get up! Don't take that! Poor <gasps> Maggie, are you okay? Poor BB-8. I mean, is Maggie okay? <gasps> he just showed... Disney's stock going down because they killed Maggie. Well, they killed Maggie. Imagine if they did. Definitely would have tanked the stock for sure. You're right. That would be a dumb decision. <gasps> what? Why does Maggie have Yoda's ears? Oh, that looks cursed. That looks awful. Yeah, me too. I have the same question mark. Beloved characters never really die. No handrail. Droids do not need to be plugged in. Every episode must be at least two sunsets. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I said they would probably make fun of Star Wars, and they are. Yeah, because no one really dies in this franchise, do they? Oh, got another binary sunset. This is a better ending than The Rise of Skywalker already. It's actually kind of cute. That was really cute. Now let's see some of these images, because I've been liking the concept art. I mean, this is pretty great stuff. Yeah, that evil baby man? That scene was too intense for the babies, man. Well, they didn't show us this, so they have Snoke. It's interesting. We didn't get to see this, though. Oh, we didn't see this either. I would have loved to see her play. But yeah, all right. That was okay. So I would have to say I'm actually quite surprised with how much The Simpsons was able to get away with. Especially in the first couple of shorts, they were making fun of a lot of the classic Disney cliches that, you know, we always make fun of. They were also able to make fun of Mickey at least a little bit by like trying to make him seem like this huge controlling boss. So I'm actually quite impressed that they were able to meld their brands together in a way that was actually kind of entertaining. Now, of course, the jokes weren't as hard hitting as they used to be. Clearly, they've been tamed back quite a bit, but you have to expect that. I guess you can't let Simpsons just completely make fun of your parent company. But at the same time, they definitely took a few shots at Mickey, so I guess it's all fair. But what did you guys think? Did you like these shorts? Did you enjoy them like I did? Or did you just find them really corporate and cringy? Please let me know in the comments. I genuinely want to know. Also like the video. It really helps the channel. So please make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.